Alrighty, welcome to Oxygen Not Included. Today I'd like to show you my solar panel farm and therefore finish the series of videos on the topic of space scanners. Roll the intro. If you have seen my previous two videos on the topic of space scanners and how I automate them, then you probably remember that from all the automation there was one additional signal that I did not explain in detail. And that's this one here. Well, if you think about what I've shown in my previous videos, then we can apply the same idea and the same logic, not only under the space scanners, but also we can use it to clear out regolith from all around our space base. And this also includes our solar panels. If you want to consistently, during daytime, generate the maximum possible amount of energy, then your solar panels need to have a clear side of space so that the sunlight hits them directly. A couple of solutions have been created by the big community that we are part of. One that I see most frequently and one that has established itself as a best practice is seen here or here or here. Those are some very nice builds that you can immediately see have one thing in common, the rubble miner. While it gets the job done, I am personally not a fan of it. I believe it is first very slow, since you have to wait for the robot miners to dig out all the regolith. Second, it is complicated, because you have to create an additional cooling system for them. And third, it requires way more space, that could potentially limit the number of solar panels that you can use. And quite frankly, this is something that has scared away many players, and they have just decided it's just not worth it. Well, if that is the case for you, then I really hope I can give you an option that you can start from. Try it, and then when you become more advanced, make it even more sophisticated. And this is how I do it. I begin with a line of bunker doors for protection from meteors. Then, under those, I put mechanized airlocks. They are for destroying the regolith that collects on top of the bunker doors. Directly under them, I put an array of window tiles, and they will stop all the regolith from falling on your space panels and will also let the sunlight through. And also a thing to remember is to not put the mechanized airlocks right under the bunker doors. I noticed that regardless of the protection that the bunker doors provide, your airlocks are going to take damage anyway. I do not know why this is, so putting them one row lower will work just fine. Now to the automation. I'm not going to explain the complete thing again. I did it in my space scanners videos so if you're interested, have a look there or just simply copy and paste it with the blueprints provided in the description. But essentially, what we want to do is to open and close those airlocks enough times so that the regolith which will fall on top of them is destroyed. For that, grab this signal here. The exact same as the scanner airlocks, but with a NOT gate. We need the opposite automation signal just because we must keep those doors open by default, while the others should be kept closed. Oh, and the automation for the bunker doors is the exact same one as the bunker door above your space scanner. We good? Okay, here's a demo. As you can see, the solar panels are protected and they're up and running directly after the meteor shower ends to generate you that sweet, sweet energy for your base. And that's essentially it. This whole array of buildings that I showed you, the space scanner plus the solar farm from this video, has worked very well for me and has taken the pain of dealing with meteors and regolith off of my shoulders to be able to concentrate on other things more crucial for the survival of my colony, while also getting some of the extra free energy. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. Ciao, see you soon!